Alicia Navarro has been found. After leaving a note that said, I ran away, I will be back, I swear, I'm sorry, Alicia Navarro walked into a police station and identified herself nearly four years after her September 15th, 2019 disappearance. I'm Kona Gallagher, and this is And Then They Were Gone. Hey there, everyone. This is going to be a super quick, super short bonus update. Um, I just wanted to drop into your feed because we have amazing, amazing news. Alicia Navarro has been found safe and sound and healthy. We don't have a ton of information. In fact, Alicia's mom, Jessica Nunez, said that she only found out about her daughter about an hour before the rest of the world did. As you can imagine, they are going through a lot right now, but while there are still plenty of questions that they definitely need their answers to, I'm sure that they are finally taking a deep, deep breath of relief. We don't know exactly what Alicia has been through over the past four years, but she did say that she left of her own volition. Which, you know, given the note, uh, is clearly something that people thought from the beginning. But the issue is that she was 14 at the time of her disappearance, and her mom feared that she was lured away by an online predator. Now, we don't know if that's the case, but when she walked into that police station, she said that she was safe. She had not been hurt. She had not been held against her will, and she was free to come and go. The reason why she walked into that police station is she's 18 now, so she's an adult and can choose to be gone if she wants. She asked the police to take her off of the missing juvenile list. Alicia and her mother have also reportedly spoken. Um, but again, you know, I'm sure they've got a long road ahead of them as well. This is going to be a very, very short, uh, mini episode because we really don't have any more information beyond this. But what I will do is play you part of the press conference from yesterday from Glendale Police. Alicia Navarro has been located. She, by all accounts, safe. She is by all accounts healthy, and she is by all accounts happy. She was located in a very small town in Montana near the Canadian border. Uh, we can tell you that she went to a local police department in that area. She identified herself as Alicia Navarro. And at that point, our officers went into investigation mode. Uh, we conducted several types of interviews and not only through those interviews, but through the help of Alicia's family themselves, we are confident that the person that we are talking with and are dealing with is indeed Alicia Navarro. Alicia's mother, Jessica Nunez, confirmed shortly after this that it was indeed her daughter who walked into that Montana police station. She then posted an emotional video online. Here's the audio from that. I owe this video to the community and to God, because I first of all want to give glory to God for answering your prayers and for this miracle. For everyone who has missing loved ones, I want you to use this case as an example that miracles do exist and never lose hope and always fight. My daughter, Alicia Navarro, was missing since September 15, 2019. She has been found safe. I do not know the details. I do confirm that she is my daughter, she is alive, and she is safe. This is recent news for me. It was an hour before it was posted in social media and the news. I don't have details, but the important thing is that she is alive. And I want to thank the community and God for all that you have done. 
this is really the best case scenario in a case like this. Alicia may not be home, but she does say she's safe. I'm sure the police are going to look into her living situation more. Hopefully, she'll be able to reunite in person with her family. But at the end of the day, she is an adult now, which I believe is why she waited all these years to come forward. We may get more information. We may not. At this point, the Navarro family deserves privacy and they deserve time to heal. So if new information does become public, we will cover it. But if we never learn anything else, that's okay too, because Alicia has been found. If you're not completely familiar with this case, we've also re-released our episode on this. So you can hear that in your feed now. We also have another case that has major updates, and we will be back here on Friday bringing that episode to you. Thank you for listening, and we will see you right back here shortly with a brand new episode. Then They Were Gone is hosted by Kona Gallagher and Ethan Flick. All research, writing, and editing is done by Kona Gallagher. Theme music is The Stork by Ketza. Additional music is provided by Kai Engel. You can follow us on socials at ATTWGpod. Be sure to leave us a rating and review on whatever app you're using to listen to this. It really does help. And Then They Were Gone is a Little Monster production. Hey, you can do it!